people were afraid of the water. But once they get beyond the fear of the water, they can enjoy uh, the development of sailing and water sports. My name is Christian. I live in this beautiful city of Xixing, which was very prosperous under the Song Dynasty. As you see, it is very typical of ancient uh, cities, but it is very much alive. You have a lot of people living there, a lot of children playing there. It is a wonderful place. Miha. Hello. Hello. When I was a teenager, I read about Marco Polo book. In the book, he talks about Hanjo, so I wanted to see for myself what it was like. I was not disappointed. It is a beautiful city. I traveled a lot. I do not remember seeing cities with so many trees in such a big area. So Hangzhou is like a big forest. And in the forest, buildings are growing up. I came to Zhejiang University to study Chinese. And when I was about to go home, I met the publishers of a professor, one of the most famous professors in maritime archaeology. And they asked me if I could introduce the book to the West. I said yes. And they have the two oldest canoes in the world. One is in Holland and one is in here, in China. And then it happens to be right there in this museum behind me there in Kwahucha. When I translated the book, it was mentioning the Kwahucha uh, canoe. I am now climbing this bridge, which is mentioned in the book. China is at a changing point in terms of sailing, which was one of my jobs when I was in the West. When I was a teenager, we discovered sailing as a sport and as a racing activity. We started without knowing what to do, so we learned from experience. Today, Chinese people are very much interested in sailing, and sailing schools are developing, and many people are very active in developing water sports, developing new sailing schools, new centers, new races, new competitions, and new technologies. And that keeps me busy learning about the past and preparing the future for the people I work with. I work with a few clubs, I work with the different authorities, or newspapers or magazines to explain my vision about Chinese developments in the field of water sports. Uh, je m'appelle Christian et je suis en Chine.